Okay guys, so the Helix is 99% done. Um, at the minute you see the, the 66 hole in the CMX round. Um, just to make sure that, although the track's brand new, I just want to get any residual crap off of it from the manufacturing process. Um, this loco is awesome, it can pull the CMX by itself. Unfortunately, not up the Helix. So, that will mean I've got to probably use both of my class 57s, like my Great Western ones, or the 66 plus another loco. Um, so, I've laid all the track, I've got up to uh, there. Um, that's the end of the fourth radius. That's the end of the third radius. So from there, all around this top level, I'll just use the flexi track um, because this top level is going to be visible. Um, what I'm going to be doing, um, this section here, this last half, well, it's not quite a half anymore because I had to cut this bit off to make it fit there but from about here I don't, I've got to go down again from about here I'm going to be having this quarter um, so as the track comes around oh, I'm trying to do two things at once so as the train comes around the top, it will follow around here and then it will switch back onto itself and go out along the top and along the top there. Um, yeah, it's only taken me about four hours to, not including the table, it's taken me about four hours to build the helix, uh, four levels, um, compared to about three months. Oh, Two three months to build the other one out of uh, with flexi track. So I would recommend if you ever build a helix, just it will cost more, but it will save you a hell of a lot of time by just doing the set track. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to take a step back towards my controller. As I zoom in on the CMX and 66, and I'll set them going. There you go. So that's on on speed setting number two. Um, and I've set my all my stuff still set at twenty eight um, speed steps. <coughs> so this is what the helix looks like at the minute. So if I move into the middle of the room, so you've got the helix there. You just about to see the tail lights there. Go past the bottle of glue. And you just come up the other side. So you come down and it comes all the way along here. Past the um, suburbs or the. Um, uh, blah, 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 I can't think of the names. Coldersacks. Past Brambles Cottage with the lovely garden. Into the station. You've all seen the station before. Up, up and back to the original helix. Um, this yard, as well as being the engineer's yard, I'm also going to be doing um, a couple of cameo sections in for my friends over at FCD. Again, I got the um, signs, they're just being painted up at the minute. I've got them in primer, um, so I just need to put them up into black and then I can glue the signs on that I made. So we'll come back around the beam and we'll follow the 66 down.
Okay, so, so that's the CMX. It's a little bit dark here, but yeah, that's the CMX and the 66. Hope you enjoyed, guys, and I'm looking forward to building the upper level. So please like, subscribe, and if you've got any questions, as normal, feel free to ask. Bye.